to the vlog. I am here in the kitchen. I'm gonna whip up some breakfast in a second. Look who's here. We just ended the surprise, last one. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> the other half of my brain is here. Also, if you guys missed the last vlog, go watch it. My vlogs have been jam-packed lately. Been really good, I've, Thank you so much. Well, I've actually, normally I like vlog even on boring days, but I've been trying to save it for more exciting days lately. So I feel like they've been a little bit more exciting. But all to say, uh, I got my ring. My ring is gone right now. It's being resized. And I got this fake one on Amazon and I bought this right when we got engaged because I wanted to get a ring that looks similar that I could wear to, you know, if we travel or like something where, you know, people have like a, what is it called? Just like a, a backup ring, like a decoy. I don't know. Yeah. Just so like, yeah. you know, if you lose it, it's not as big of a deal. So I'm wearing it right now. And honestly, this one fits like a glove <laughs> and it looks almost identical. So the ring is on. I'm still waiting for my other one, but I'm about to make some breakfast. I thought I would take you guys along with me. Also guys, I just have to tell you, I am obsessed with these socks. I got them on Amazon. I will also link them down below. They're these like slouchy socks. And as a girl with wide calves, I mean, I think they're like one size fits all socks, but as a girl with wide calves, they fit very, very well, I have to say. So I've been dreaming of this coffee all night. So excited to make it this morning. I have a cup of ice here. And I brewed, I need to go buy some like actual cold brew today, but I brewed a an Americano and I put it in the fridge overnight. So I've got my iced coffee. That looks delicious. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of almond milk in there. Beautiful. Oops, I might've put a little too much. And then I've been loving this Califia Farms Peppermint Mocha coffee creamer. Give her a mix. I prefer cold brew over iced coffee, but this is still gonna be so good. And then I'm really excited because I caved and got these at Target. These are the Target brand whipped creams. They had a bunch of flavors, but I got the holiday ones. I have hot cocoa and peppermint. Looks so good. I'm gonna try the hot cocoa because chocolate whipped cream sounds insane. Do a swirl. And I am gonna put it right into my mouth because I am an adult and I can. Put a lot of things in your mouth. Oh! I used to be so afraid of, you know, adding like creams and things to my coffees and just like, Oh, just things like that. And I need to have fun. You need to have balance, you need to have fun. So I bought the damn whipped cream and that is gonna be so yummy in my coffee. Like the happiness that this little bit of whipped cream and this coffee brings me is so worth my morning. And I used to be so scared of, you know, the extra calories and the sugar and all those things. And like, we can't think that way anymore. I'm gonna show you how to make the most delicious eggs ever that I've been really into lately. You need a bowl and then I'm gonna do, I do like two to three eggs per person. So I'm just gonna crack all my eggs in here. And then to make them a little extra fluffy, I'm just gonna add, oh, this is vanilla almond milk. Let me get regular milk. Pour a little milk in there. Just makes them a little extra fluffy. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Then we're gonna whisk all of this together and you know, aerate them. So it's gonna make it even more fluffy. You gotta pop all the yolks and then a little action. I'm whisking the eggs and I've got my pan on the lowest heat possible. We're gonna cook them very low and slow so that we can get this nice, soft, delicious scramble. And we're not gonna salt it. We're gonna salt it right when it's done or right at the end. Otherwise it's gonna draw moisture out and make them kind of like wet. You can also do butter, but I'm just gonna do a little avocado oil and then we're going to pour our egg mixture in. And yeah. it shouldn't like sizzle because it should be super low heat. It should just be like a My the eggs softest. be sizzling. Now with your cooking with Remy spatula, come, come. We're just gonna keep it constantly moving, constantly mm. pulling from the sides. And we're creating these little curdles as you can see, but it's on oh super low. And we're just gonna keep moving. And the more you move, the smaller the curds will be. Curds. Curds. I like my curds small and I like it really Jammy. I will say people sometimes don't like uh, soft scrambled eggs because of the texture issue, which I totally understand, but I love it. So I'm making it. It's what? toast time. It's time. It's time. Okay, eggs are still cooking. I'm still mixing. At the very end, I'm gonna add in some of this Miyoko's. This is plant milk cheese. It's garlic and herb cheese. This is vegan. You don't obviously have to use vegan. I mean, it's not even vegan, they're eggs, but this is absolutely amazing. Oh, it tastes so good in there. Also, you could do like a borzen cheese would be really good. Cream cheese, creme fraiche, anything creamy if you wanna add it in at the end. But I love the flavor this gives. And then on the toast, I'm doing some butter 
and some strawberry jam. Our eggs are almost oh done. Gosh. Look at that soft scramble. Doesn't that look good? It looks like mac and cheese. It does. And again, I know. Sometimes people don't like this for textural purposes. I understand. But at this point, I'm going to fold in some of this cheese. <gasps> Fuck. And I'm going to do a little flaky salt on top at the end. I'm going to do a little salt right now, too. Mm. Oh, my God. Good, right? It kind of tastes like the eggs we had in Italy. Yeah, it tastes like hotel eggs. That's what they call mm. TikTok said. Oh, my God. I love them. Yay. There you go. Thank you You're so, so welcome. Okay, we are out. And we're having a little shopping Look day. At we're trumpets. at the mall. <laughs> the trumpets are here. We are, well, actually, we just came to Target first because Ollie needs eye drops. And then the Target is connected to the mall. So we're gonna do the mall day and then we'll end at Target later for like the Christmas shopping. But it looks so cute. I'm so excited. The way I would have gone absolutely feral if I received this for Christmas as a kid. <laughs> I would have like thrown myself on the ground and cried. I loved Hello Kitty and nail polish. The mall was a bust, but now we are at. <laughs> Costco! I'm looking for something very specific for my Vlogmas intro, and I'm really hoping they have it. So everyone cross your fingers. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Thank you. Oh my god, I see her across the way. She's, She's over there. She looks so cute. I actually, you know what? I'm not going to show you it because I'm going to keep it a surprise for the Vlogmas intro, but it is so perfect. It's so cute. It's so cute. Yay. It's I'm actually so happy. smaller than I imagined. So really? It it's bigger than I imagined. Car. All right. Fingers crossed. Ah, Hello, guys. Okay, it is the next day. Hello. Cal is still at, today's the actual wedding. He's not at the bachelor party. He's at the wedding today, and I am going to go meet him there soon. I haven't seen him in a couple days. I miss him very much, but last night was really fun. Ollie, Lauren, and Mia, and I just had like a little hangout. Look at this gift that Lauren and Mia gave me. It's Momo in a cookie jar. Ah! It's so cute. I love her so much, and she is a part of my new Christmas decor. Speaking of Christmas decor, I woke up this morning, and I took care of the dogs, and then I went to Costco as soon as they opened. I got there before they opened, and I picked up the thing that you guys just saw in the last clip. Well, I didn't tell you, but the thing that was I was alluding to in the last clip, I ended up having to buy the one on display, so they weren't able to take it down until after the store closed last night, and then the girl was like, get here like first thing in the morning, first come, first serve grab it and it's yours. So yes, I woke up and I went and got that, which I'm really excited about. I have a very detailed idea of what I want the Vlogmas intro to look like. Am I gonna be able to nail it? I'm not quite sure, uh, but I'm gonna try my best. So I'm excited for that. On the way home, I stopped at Trader Joe's. I got a bunch of stuff because our fridge is pretty empty and there were some new things that I really wanted to try. So let's do a little Trader Joe's haul, shall we? Let me preface this by saying that I got a lot of snacks because there were so many delicious looking things. First up, I just got regular rice cakes to make little avocado toast situations with because I was craving that. I was having a lot of cravings while we were there. I also got some of the last little fall treats. They had like mostly winter or Thanksgiving slash like winter stuff there. And I wanted to try some stuff. So we got the Thanksgiving stuffing seasoned popcorn. I love popcorn and I love stuffing. It's one of my favorite parts of Thanksgiving food. So I needed to try that. I got some avocados just to replenish the, the stack. I got some everything bagels. I was really craving a bagel this morning, so I might have that later, but I think I'm gonna try something else first that I'll show you. I got some shrimp burgers. If you haven't tried these and you like shrimp, they're delicious. You can throw them on a bun. You can throw them in a salad. They're just like basically, it doesn't sound delicious, but like compressed shrimp in a patty. <laughs> that sounds really gross, but it's really good, honestly. And they're quick and they're high in protein. And let's see how much protein there is. 13 grams of protein and one patty. I'll usually eat like two of them. Really good, really quick, really easy. Oh, I wanted to try these. These are new. The uh, Trader Joe's Egg Bites. I got the cheddar cheese and uncured bacon ones. And then I have another variation in there. I got the garlic spread because I always have that on hand for anything. I'm kind of thinking of maybe mixing this in with my soft scrambled eggs. That'd be bomb. Okay, I got a few protein snacky things. I got some Go Macro Bars. I love a Go Macro Bar. I got the oatmeal chocolate chip in the peanut butter chocolate chip. And then I also grabbed a few Bear Bells. These are really, really good. I've just been eating like on the go protein options. So we have some cookies and cream ones, chocolate dough. All the flavors sound really good. And then I got one more variation, which was the Creamy Crisp. I think I've tried this one. I think I've tried the cookies and cream in this one before, and they're both good. I mean, they all kind of taste the same to me, but they're all really good. Oh, I've been in such a 
salami slash prosciutto face. So I got some of that. Oh, I got this little beef stick. I love Slim Jims. These don't taste nearly as good as a Slim Jim, but it's high protein and a really good snack to take on the go. I got salami. I've been in my super salami era. I got these sliced Korean rice cakes. These are just like frozen duck that you can put into soups or uh, stir fry them or whatever. I mean, I went through a whole bag and I really enjoyed them. They taste the same as like a regular Korean grocery store one and I was already there. So I grabbed these to replenish. I love these. Then I got, oh, they had like a small section left of the fall stuff and then like most of the winter stuff was in, but this is the rice cauliflower and butternut squash risotto. That looks really good. So I wanted to try this for dinner. And then I got a couple more protein bars. And then I got two packs of prosciutto because I really wanted to make a prosciutto sandwich. Sounds so good. Or like crispy prosciutto and a salad. I got some kale because I want to make a lighter version of Olive Garden's Zupa Toscana soup, which is like one of my favorite soups in the entire world. So I got this to make, I wanna make it for dinner tonight possibly. Maybe I'll do that when I get back from the wedding, but kale. I was randomly craving these vegetable chips. I just love these. These were like my favorite growing up. So grab those. Oh, the cornbread crisps are back. These are so good in a salad, as a snack on a cheese board or um, you can like crumble it over chili. It's really good. I saw Alicia get these and she made me want to try them. Baked pizza flavored pillow crisps. They're like little hollow pillows with pizza flavoring. I mean, that sounds really yummy. I got a couple honey nut squashes, which if you guys didn't know, it's like a, a I think it's a hybrid maybe. I don't know, it's like a baby butternut squash, but they're really delicious, a little bit more sweet. Green beans, just to stir fry up. Cucumbers, I always have cucumbers because I eat these like crazy. Heirloom tomatoes for toast sandwiches. Oh my God, I didn't see this little one in there. <gasps> That's the smallest little heirloom tomato I've ever seen. Just some chicken to cook for the week. I got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs and then I got some thin sliced chicken breasts for uh, you know cutlets. I wanna do like a crispy chicken salad. I think that'd be really good. My lettuce is absolutely flourishing in the garden. I got these uh, par baked, French demi baguettes. I don't know about you guys. I mean, this looks like the perfect size for a sandwich. Sometimes I just get the strongest craving for like a delicious baguette on its own with butter. So I thought these would be great because they're frozen. And whenever I get the craving, I can just bake it, slice it, eat it, toast it, whatever. These apple chips, this is their new apple chip duo. It's red and green apples dried. I love apple chips in a salad or on their own. Oh, I've been randomly craving Brazilian cheese bread and I've been too lazy to make it. So I just bought the frozen ones. These are so good. I believe it's called Pau de Queijo, I think. I did the Hailey Bieber recipe on an episode on my main channel and it was it was really good. I, I just randomly crave them now. And then the last thing I got, I got all of these. This is like the main reason why I wanted to go. These are the new shrimp pouches of many colors. And it essentially just looks like a little shrimp hargao. I'm gonna throw these in the microwave, put everything away, and then eat up. And we'll do a little taste test. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. All the groceries are put away. I'm having the most girl dinner lunch ever. I have uh, some of the dumplings. I did some of the heirloom tomato with a little olive oil, salt and pepper, some of the prosciutto, and then a couple of the Brazilian cheese bread. Mmm. I might've overcooked them a bit in the air fryer. They're like really crunchy, but the inside is like, soft and made out of tapioca, so it's chewy. Let's do a little taste test of all the things. A little prosciutto, a little tomato. Mm-hmm. Very fresh, very delicious. And then the dumplings. Mmm, mmm. Less of a hargao, just more of a dumpling. Definitely need some sauce, maybe a little chili crunch. Okay, just went to the pantry. I needed to get a new one. I have both the Momofuku Chili Crunch, the normal one, and the Momofuku Chili Crunch Hot Honey. I'm gonna go with the hot honey. Just mix it up a little bit. Ooh, I haven't tried this yet. Ooh, oh, it's thick, thick honey. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my girl lunch and I will see you guys when we start getting ready for the wedding. Hello all, okay, I just did my hair and did my makeup. I just added a little soft wave to the hair, brushed it through, and then I did my makeup pretty standardly. I did the little lash the extension ones that go under your lash line. Very simple, nice and cute. Now I have no idea what I'm wearing to the wedding, so let's figure this out together. I talked about this on PB, but I am obviously going to the wedding for the groom side for Cal's best friend from college. And I will say I had Cal ask the groom, which I probably should have gone to the bride, and ask uh, what should I wear to the wedding? Like what's the dress code, what do I wear? And all Cal's best friend said was, a dress. I've asked for a lot of clarification on that. Short dress, long dress, 
black tie, cocktail, what are we going for? Beachy. So obviously I was given minimal details. I was told like a little bit more casual though. That's what Cal said. Hopefully Cal's right, I don't know. I have this like red off the shoulder sweater moment. Oh, okay, now I'm feeling like I'm gonna, I don't wanna be overdressed. I don't wanna be underdressed. I don't wanna wear the wrong thing. I feel like this screams more like Christmas party though than wedding. I have this dress here that I never wore. I bought it for New York and didn't wear it there. It's like a pink long dress. This with a sweater on top could be cute. Let's. Let's try this on. I also don't have Cal to zip me up, so we're gonna try and figure this out together. Okay, dress is on, super cute. It's like, I think a good mix of casual and a little bit more dressy for the occasion. And then the perfume I'm gonna wear is Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. This has been one of my favorites lately. Mm, perfect for like a little fancy event. Very nice. And then shoes and bag, I'm just gonna wear the same shoes that I wore to Matt Patricia's wedding because they were very comfortable. As you can see, they're very dirty. These little like nude sandals. And then I'm just gonna wear this nude bag. And then I think that's pretty much it. Bye. We love love. <laughs>